today we are looking at lesson 2-4, which is on using the percent equation. Yesterday we looked at finding the percent proportion. We're going to be given the same pieces of information today, but the way that we solve our problem is going to be slightly different. Yesterday we did that by using a proportion and we used things in the form of fractions. Today we're going to be doing that using decimals. So if you look at page 130 at the top, it says in pink, use the percent equation. And there are three things that we can be given. We can be given the part, the percent, and the whole. We create an equation that looks like this, where the part is equal to the percent times the whole. But we don't want to have to write out whole and part and percent with every problem that we do. So instead we're going to use variables to represent those three things. The part, we're going to use the variable P, just like we did yesterday. The percent, we're going to use the variable N. And for whole, we're going to use the variable W. So we're using the same variables that we did yesterday to represent the same things that we did yesterday. But today, instead of creating proportions, we're going to solve using an equation. Okay? This does two things for us. The first thing that it does is it lets us use a decimal instead of a fraction to represent our percent. The second thing that it does, it shortens the amount of work that we need to do, so the amount of space that it takes us to solve each problem. Proportions can take up a lot of space. Equations take up a little less. Okay? So the first thing that we have to do is figure out what information goes where. So the first thing we're going to do is figure out what is given. If we look at example one in Glencoe Course 2 Math, page 130, it says what number of 12% is 150? What number is 12% of 150? Again, we're on page 130. In this example, do I have a part? Do I have a part? Yes. What's my part? I don't have a part this time. So what is the 150? The whole. The whole. Okay. So then I need something in my end spot. N is the percent. What's my percent this time? Yes, sir. 0.12. percent Or did you give me my percent as a decimal? Hold on. You told me 0.12. Okay. Is 0.12 my percent? Or is 0.12 my percent written as a decimal? Right, so you gave me the percent already converted to a decimal. Thank you. How did you get 0.12 from 12%? How did we get 0.12 from 12%? What did we do? Yes, sir. Okay, and how did we do that? Very good. So to go from a percent to a decimal, we move two places to the left. Goes to the left, to the left. Okay. <laughs> if we were going to convert from a decimal to a percent, then we move to the right, to the right. But we're not going to crisscross. Okay? We do that with percentages. We don't do that in, in equations. Not nearly as long as I would like to admit. Alright, 0.12 times 150. Who has a calculator and can tell me what is that going to be? Shh. Well, I need my calculator. Point one two. Eighteen. Eighteen. So that means that 
means that 18 is 12% of 150. So 18 is my part. 12% is my percent, but I wrote that as a decimal by moving the decimal place. And my whole is 150. Do we have questions about this? No, ma'am. Fantastic. Okay. This is what we did at the beginning of the chapter when it asked us to find the percent of a number. Okay. When we were finding the percent of a number, we were finding the part that went with our whole. Let's look at example two because in example two on page 131, we are not given the percent and the whole. We're given two different pieces of information. And you know what? I didn't finish filling out our steps. So while you read, I want you to read example two real quick while I write these out. Fifty-two and a half or fifty 
52.5%. Okay? We can only move, we can only move two decimal places. Whether we're going from a decimal to a percent or vice versa, we can only move two places. Going from percent to decimal, we go to the left. Going from decimal to percent, we go to the right. Okay? Questions about example two? All right. Um, remember, we're videoing today. Go ahead and sharpen your pencil while we read in our book on page 131, example three. What? We're going to read in our book, example three. equation we're going to use the equation after today does it matter which way that you use no. nope after today it doesn't matter you can use whichever one you're more familiar with okay 
After today, you can use whichever one you're more familiar with and which one you feel more confident with. But for today, we're going to use our equations. Does anyone have any questions before we continue? All right. Thank you.